started. Okay, first we install calendar base. No problem so far. It asks us to, to modify and create some pages. Just do it. We do not need to set any options here, but you may choose them according to your priorities and what you need. Okay, we save that. You may also use the caching framework um, offered by Typo3 here, but it's easier to use the internal one. So I prefer that. Just close it. Next step, go to the page tree. And as you can see, I have multiple pages here. And I just open one, go to the template section. Use the info and edit or bearbeiten in German. Um, added the whole template record. Go to includes and add the template for call. And you can find it here with um, ho, 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 moment. Um, the classic one you can, may also add a standard CSS, but it's up to you what you want to use. Um, if you want to use RSS, RDF, Atom, and so on, add it. If you want to use ICS, add it. If you want to use uh, front-end editing, add it later on. It's uh, The shortcut is FA edit as everywhere in the core. Okay, we saved that so far. So now we need a so-called sys folder in German ordner. I drag it to here into the point here. Um, we just rename it to call records. Save it. Um, activate it. That's important. Go back to the page where the template record resides. And now you use a constant editor, select calendar base, and now let's scroll. Um, normally you may set it here, but it may be also possible to set it in the ICS part or the template part. It's not always the same. Um, and it changes between versions, so let me see it. Okay. I think the translation is clear to you. Format record. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, in former version there was a constant, which allows me to set the starting point. But in your error message, the constant is clarified, so may, you may edit um, manually in the constant section of your template, just by copy and pasting it and setting it to the value of your uh, folder. So it may be. 89 here in that example. Let's take a look into your mail. And 
so it may be nothing more than so and you're done but that's not the way Mario uh, sought it to be to you or sought to use it the best way to use it is just leave the line empty save your record switch to the page start add a new plugin of type calendar nothing more than what I do now so now we have some um, records and here is the mystical starting pit um, you may simply add the pit of the page here um, you see it's 89 here or the title of the page or you use the wizard to select the page directly from the tree so you have three options for selecting the page sorry I need to check RSD a A A D okay simply clicking solves most of the problems okay next step is we need to select all the views which should be enabled we start with months week okay one top um, day uh, single view uh, okay ICS and that's it. Um, you may also select categories and other stuff here. And now I'll show you how to create a category in the calendar. Okay, save that stuff. The plugin should basically work now. Takes a moment, is everything in type 3. As this is a development uh, environment, it's a bit slower than a production environment. Okay, we have a template voila error here which is not related to Carl, so let give me just a moment. Here we have a basic um, week view without any CSS and anything else. CSS needs to be added later. Um, we can do that now. It's not the problem, but first I want to show you how to add the records. So we switch into the list view, back to our Carl records and start there. Here's the new record uh, icon we use that first we create a calendar it's called test calendar oh, let's write it in English calendar um, you can define an owner and other stuff that's not important for us now you may also define external calendars, e.g. Um, Google Calendar or whatever, which can be refreshed with a scheduler task. Save it. You've learned now that you may create a record using this icon, so let's do it again. Now we create a category, call it category one may you may select a calendar here okay that saves it um, you may select uh, single view pages and whatever you want um, but for the first try it's enough to have one category so it's enough save it our front end view is not affected until now as there's nothing that should be displayed here so far. Okay, back to the back end. Now, let's create an event. Oh, sorry, no need to save the message encrypted. Um, we use calendar event. It's in English in your installation, I hope. But I didn't find the time to switch to, uh, to English. Okay, let's get started. We use a title. Let's say test title. I started today. Oh, let's look at what week 14 to 20. So we can start it in the 17th of May. 
add 10 clock and we can end it on the 8th oh, stop at the 18th of May at 12 o'clock you see the double points are added automatically we assign the calendar test calendar select the category may add a description um, sorry no lore and ipsum here but lore and ipsum go lore sit Amen. and so on now I save it and normally there should be an event now here it is um, it's not clickable but um, I can click on the day view to get an impression of the day you see the CSS is still missing um, I may also enable the detail view so I go back to the plugin click on the calendar plugin and enable the detail view normally it is enabled here okay one moment um, okay you may also select the page for the detail view um, that's for historical reasons normally this could be ship uh, skip but let's do it we select the same page no problem so far save it it renders a moment we reload it and test title should be clickable now it still loads no for one reason for some reason it, it is not okay to add more CSS you may also choose the template again select the page where the template is located and just experiment what CSS is good for you um, so let's add some standard okay we have standards standard CSS um, you may use standard CSS styles save it Reload the page. Take some seconds, as always. Um, and wow, here we go. We have the event and a very nice calendar view. So, hope you learned something about Typo3. It's basically a model view architecture. Most plugins rely on a sys folder, which is managed in list view, um, which contains records. In this example, it's called records and page, which has the view controller in it called plugin or whatever, um, which is managed mainly via the site um, or page module where you have the plugin and the options of the plugin. Starting points always refer to uh, the place where the plugin has to search its records because you may have many 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 calendar plugins in your website where you can define different uh, starting points which allows you to be very 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 flexible and to manage many customers in a single installation hope this helps you and yeah perhaps you learn to love typo 3 someday <laughs>